Hi, my name is Palak Jaiswal, and I graduated from the University of Utah um, in May 2020. I actually walked um, this year because of the pandemic, um, but I studied journalism and creative writing at the U. And now I'm a digital producer at KUER, which is NPR Utah, so a member station of NPR. And yeah, I um, was raised in Utah my entire life, so that's, I'm pretty much a Utahan. <laughs> Welcome to Exploration Encouraged, the Career and Professional Development Center's alumni video series. Each month, we bring stories and advice from alumni straight to you. Let's hear what today's alumni has to say. So my career journey has been an interesting one. Um, I think it starts when I was actually at the U. I started off as a English and communications double major, but after taking a couple of English classes, I realized I didn't really want to like overanalyze every single book we read. So I ended up focusing more on my communications classes and I took an intro to news writing class. Um, and that was kind of like my gateway drug into journalism. Um, that class was just so much fun and it made me realize like, I can do writing in a journalism way. So I dropped my English major after that. And so that's where I would say my career journey began really. Um, from there, you know, I graduated in the middle of a pandemic, which was not ideal, but also not ideal for when you're searching for a job straight out of college. Um, so I spent a lot of time applying to any writing jobs on Indeed and LinkedIn, but nothing was coming through. Um, and then I got really lucky, Mindy Wilson at the UMFA, where I did a work study my senior year. Um, she sent me an application to a project called Next Generation Radio, which if you don't know what it is, it's a really great project. Um, it's for early career journalists, recent graduates, um, current college students, and it's like a week-long mentorship project where the students get to work with professional journalists and tell a multimedia story in a week during a pandemic. And um, the one that I was lucky enough to get involved in, um, it was the first ever virtual one in the 20 years that the program ran. So I did that and I remember Mindy told me, I know you don't like radio journalism, but just try it. And so I did and I got really lucky. I got to tell a wonderful story about local music um, during the pandemic. And from there, I actually was able to apply for a job at KUER, which was the member station that was hosting this next gen project. Um, and it was for a digital producer role part time. And I applied and I got hired. So um, things work out in a funny way. And I was able to get a job in the middle of a pandemic in a field that I wanted to work in. So that was really great. Um, and I recently, just a couple months ago, got promoted to full time at KUER. And uh, I'm still doing digital producing. I love writing, so I've been doing it on the side. But ultimately, my goals are to pursue a master's degree at the University of Southern California in arts journalism. So that's what my career has looked like so far. And hopefully, um, in the future, it looks a little different. So yeah. <laughs> um, so I wasn't involved in a lot when I was at the U. I was involved in pretty much one specific thing and it was a perfect thing for me. It was the Daily Utah Chronicle, which what which is um, the independent student newspaper at the U. And the way I got involved was actually really funny. I applied to be a copy editor and I didn't get the job. And I cried for three days, I'm pretty sure, because that was the only like uh, school activity I wanted to be involved in. But then they emailed me back and they said, we want you to try out to be a writer for the arts desk. And I was like, okay, sure. And I think this was also around the same time I took that intro to news class. So I was really exploring more of that journalism take on writing. And, um, you know, I started off as an intern and I did, I think, one story a week. And then three months in, I was a senior writer for two years after that, which was like anywhere between one to three articles a week. And I wrote about everything you can think about in arts and culture reporting from dance to theater to music to um, art, anything. 
Um, and then I was lucky enough to become the arts editor during my senior year. And that was really, really fun. It was also really like a learning experience. I think being an editor and being a writer are two different things. And um, I owe a lot of my base skills in journalism to the Chronicle and all of the experiences it got me. So I will always sing the praises for the Chronicle. And I think if you're interested in pursuing a career in journalism, that's the best place to be involved with on campus. So yeah. And while I was doing the Chronicle stuff, I did a lot of other internships while I was at the U. I interned with Make-A-Wish. Um, I interned with the Utah Museum of Fine Arts, which was great. And I also interned with SNS Presents, which is a local concert booking company here in Utah for indie venues. And they were actually who I did my story on for Next Generation Radio. So I was lucky enough to build a lot of connections while I was an undergrad um, in the Utah arts scene. So yeah, um, I guess if you're a student, get involved in as much as you can, that would be my advice. A digital producer is someone who makes web content and social media content for a company. So at KUER, what I do is I run our Instagram account primarily. Um, we rebooted the entire thing, but I also get to work with Adobe Illustrator, our Facebook and Twitter accounts. Um, I also do social media content for Radio West, which is one of our shows. And I get to work every day with reporters and editors on headlines photos, um, articles. I'm basically like the last uh, last checker of everything that we ever publish. So that's what a digital producer does. Okay. So my advice to undergraduates, especially undergraduates going into journalism, would be that journalism is a field where you can never stop learning. So even if it's not, you know, the primary medium you're interested in, like if you want to be a print journalist, but you don't want to do radio journalism, take a chance on it. If I had never taken that chance on Next Generation Radio, I don't know what I would be doing right now, but I got lucky enough um, to earn you know, my position there and to continue to learn stuff. So that would be my main advice to always take advantage of the opportunities that present themselves to learn and really use your network. The U um, communications department has great professors. So a lot of my, you know, day-to-day -day advice when I was looking for jobs came from those professors. And my final advice would be to advocate for yourself in job interviews. Um, you're allowed to negotiate, you're allowed to ask questions about the position and to learn about how it'll benefit your own career goals. So yeah. Um, I'm going to shout out Kimberly Mangoon at the um, Departments of Communication. She's a professor in the journalism track. Um, she is not only a wonderful professor, but she's a great friend and she has been a great advocate to go to for any career advice and just to talk. So thank you, Kim, for being so great and being such an awesome mentor to me. Find amazing alumni like the one you heard from today on the University of Utah's networking platform. Connect with an alumni mentor today for resume reviews, career advice, informational interviews, and more.